Oh, Lily M, it's Wales. It's Wales. Never. It is. It's oh, Wales. Word. Get in. New new mat. New look. Get in there, you absolute beauty. Please, <laughs> please, please be upside down the writing. Right, it's not very good condition. I don't care. Right, here we go. First one I've ever found. Right, so we've got a new £2 mat. And to celebrate, we've got a £1,000 £2 Meg Hunt for you. So let's show you the two books that we've still got. We've only got two because Lady M's book has been given away. So well done to Shui08, who won our 2,000 subscriber giveaway. You should hopefully have that, uh, have your prize there by now. Um, yes, so we've got two books left. We've got my book and we've got Ellie's book. So in my book, I only need Commonwealth Games Wales and ideally a Navy Centenary with a flag error. And other than that, my book is complete. And in my book, I want all the commemorative coins but the writing around the outside is upside down. Ellie, she's doing well. She also just needs Wales and the Navy Centenary, but there's one behind me because she needs the Olympic Rio handover. And all Ellie's coins, the writing around the outside is the, uh, is the other way up. Is the, we're calling it the right way up. Of course, totally random when they're made, but hey ho, we like it. it's a variant, so we've gone for two different sets. So I am hoping that in this £1,000 mega hunt, I will be able to complete my album. Or part of me wants, I suppose if Ellie fills it as well, we'll get rid of her. She's done, she's completely gone. She ditched us ages ago, so wow. hey ho, we'll see where we uh, we'll see where we go with that. Right, new, new, new coin, Matt, Lady. I'm so excited, I can't get my words out. So a big thanks to, to Raftree, so Mark at Raftree. He does all the coin tuber merchandise, including the including mats and money boxes and mugs. All his details are in the description below to, to, to their website, raftree.co.uk. And what we've done is, you, you may well remember that in our uh, £2,000 subscriber specials, we did a £2,000, £2 coin hunt. And what I did was I laid all the, all the coins out, or pictures of the coins out in mintage order on the mat. So what I've done is I asked Mark to produce us one uh, on an official mat. So here it is. So really pleased with the uh, with the results. So let me explain the mat to you. We've got gold, silver, and bronze finds, and it's the, the gold finds. The top row are the are the ones with the, the lowest mintage. The silver finds are the next one down. Bronze finds again, third one down, depending on where what what the mintage figures is. And then we've got the ones without a colour on, and they're the ones that are the really really common ones that we find all of the time. We stuck the uh, Northern Ireland two pound next to the Bungle logo there. One because I wanted the it all to fit in one into one row so it looked nice and neat so that'll stick that next to the logo because trust me if, uh, if we pull a northern island out we will be absolutely over the moon and we put some extra spaces here in case any more commemorative coins come out um over the over the coming months and maybe years we've got the plum finds here on the side so we got the, the plumbest of all the finds will go there we find any territories, any any foreign coins, oddities or fakes will go here. And we've now got a permanent uh, advert for our PO box as well. So if you'd like to send something to our PO box, please do. It doesn't have to be coins. We're not looking. We're not looking for, for gifts in that respect. It's a it's a postcard. It's a picture. It's it's anything. A letter that we can read out. Or if you want to plug your own uh, YouTube channel or fa your Facebook page, your Instagram, because everything you send is opened in a in a video. So there's the new mat lady, I'm nice and clean. Yeah. Can't wait to get going. Good. We're going to do a thousand quid, and uh, let's say uh, I better get on with it there. Eh? So we've got two bags. So we've got both from the bank. This is from one branch. Interestingly, we only picked this up a couple of days ago. So it's the is it the 14th of August today? Some 16th of August today. So we only picked this up two days ago from a branch, but it's dated the 29th of November 19. Roll the over bags inside, so who knows what's going to be in there. And also, the, the second bag got it on the same day, but from a different branch. And this has come from the, the Haydock Cash Centre, 3rd of July 2020, and they are sealed inside as well. So quite bizarre. Same, same bag, two different branches on the same day. It's unbelievable what uh, what you can get. So let's, let's see. Let's cut it open. And we'll do the rolly over ones first. Because I quite like seal bags because you know no one's interfered with them. They're being put in automatically out the cash centre. Rolly over bags are a little bit more of a lottery. But of course, I suppose rolly over bags means if someone's cashed their collection in and took all their commemorative coins back at once, then you've got a chance of, of getting someone's cash in as well. Mm -hmm. So let's see if the, the fines pan out with the with the mintage figures. I, I expect the will, so I suspect that we will get plenty along this uh, this bottom row here because they are the most uh, the most common. I'd be surprised if we don't uh, if we don't fill that lady in. The fact that we're going through a thousand pounds worth of coins is uh, 
almost guarantees it, I think. And there is that the first commemorative for me. I've got the, the Brunel portrait. This will be the bottom bottom row finds. Where uh, where are we? All ah, right. So in order to know <laughs> which one it goes, you need to know the edge inscription. And the reason the reason uh, why we're so excited about edge inscriptions is we just found out about the error on the Shakespeare tragedies coin, the skulls coin. The the edge inscription around the outside has got the shoulder to shoulder, the army pals one. So if you find a uh, skulls, so skulls will be it's around about five million, isn't it? Four and a half or four and a half or five and a half million. There we go. Four out four million six hundred and fifteen thousand. So it says, "What piece of work is a man around the outside of the skulls?" If you get a skulls and it's got for king and country on, you've got yourself an error coin. So we'll be looking out for skulls. So we need to know, uh, for, so we know which coin goes on what. We need to know what the edge inscription is. So what does the edge inscription say on the uh, on the Brunel coin? Engineers, engineering. Let's have a look. Oh so, yeah, isn't bad, Kingdom Brunel, engineer. And then his date of uh, his, his date of birth and date date of death. So where where is it, Lady M? This one here. Right. So seven million nine hundred twenty nine thousand. There's right. isn't bad. I've got a bronze find. I can't say there's a wireless Marconi, and it does say around the edge. I've already had a look. Wireless bridges the Atlantic. Great. I, I know this one. Hundred and fifty years of nursing. Florence Nightingale, Lady M's favorite uh, favorite coin. Mm -hmm. So I'm pleased it be. I tell you what. By the time we're finished, we will absolutely. There's another one. We will absolutely know our edge inscriptions, won't we, Lady M? Probably. It's like the uh, 50p maps. If you haven't seen our 50p hunt, we've got a new 50 pence map as well. And uh, that's got all the mintage figures on as well. So it does also state what they are. So it's a little bit easier on the 50 pences. But we, 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 will be, we will be experts on mintage figures and edge inscriptions in no time at all, I am sure. If we find any fakes, Lady M, we'll have to, uh, they'll have to go in. Probably going my book, I think. Mm -hmm. You haven't got your book anymore. We'll have to decide whether we're gonna whether we're gonna do a, a date run again, won't we? Yeah. I think we'll wait until the books are full. Once mine and Ellie's book is full, and we move on to a new book, that's when we'll decide whether we're gonna we're gonna have a date run book. Eh? Okay. Because it doesn't have to be. I suppose it could be me that does the date run. Oh, ho, 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 Lady M, it's Wales. It's Wales. It's never. It is. It's oh, Wales. My word. Get in, new new mat, new look, get in there, you absolute beauty. Please, please, please be upside down the writing. Right, it's not very good condition, I don't care. Right, here we go. First one I've ever found. Oh, right, okay, so when you queen side. So what we're saying is, if I if I turn this over and I can read the writing around the outside, that's the right way up, and it'll go in Ellie's book. Oh, lady, am you looking? I can I'm tell you are. Just looking at you. You're not. You're, 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 not you're peeking. I can see you peeking, and now, and now I I'm, can never tell which way around it is. Oh, no, I promise. think, I think by your, your, by your look that you've looked into in Ellie's. I can see I that can't. glee in your eyes. I can see dancing in your eyes, saying it's going to be Ellie's <laughs> and not mine. I can't. So tell. anyway, so here we go. Um, if I turn this over and I can read it, Ellie's, please be upside down. It's mine. Please be upside down. Get in there, you absolute beauty! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get in, get in. That is that is the book complete. Book complete. That is it done. <laughs> the the um. Let's just zoom back out again. Let's just confirm this absolute re resounding victory. So there's Wales, and I'm calling that the the Navy Centenary is um. It's just a variant, the one with the flag arrow. We've got the real one. That is my book full. New mat book. Full, thank you very much. Of course, I'll keep it. You know, so I'm not going to do anything with it. And if I do find a flag error, it'll go in. But I'm telling you, I'm finished. Get in there. Absolute beauty. I am done. So do we have to wait until we fill Ellie's book yes. before we do anything Yeah, else? yeah, right, we'll fill okay. Ellie's book and then we'll decide what we're going to do book-wise. Okay. Yeah, get in there. Can you see that dragon there, Lady M? Can you see the dragon? I'll just spin that round for you. Oh, yes, I can now. Absolute peach. Absolute plum. Oh. absolutely over the moon with it so what we'll do is we'll put it into its top top row look so it's the second lowest mintage it'll go right in that top corner but it'll all it'll almost certainly be going over to the plum cat plum finds <laughs> section at the end because we only only a northern ireland will beat it get in there <laughs> right there's a trevithic or trev is terrific and i have no idea oh this is the one with the funny markings on so i'm assuming it is that one because that's what the Oh, you can see that. Uh, that's what the edge looks like. I don't care. I don't care. Rolly over bags are the best. Rolly over bags. So, so that Wales has been in that bag 
in wherever it was in the bank for what were we now August eight nine nine months yeah just waiting for me to collect it yeah oh Robert man Burns. all right so that one says <laughs> should old acquaintance be forgot like the song so any ideas oh there it is Silver, Silver fine. fine, Silver First Fine, Lady M. There's an active union. So that one says United into one kingdom. That, that'll be your bottom row, that. Yeah. Seven million. There we go. United into one kingdom. Seven million, five hundred and forty-five thousand. Oh, get in. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy. I never thought, I thought it was going to be like our football. I'll just yeah. never, ever find a Wales. And the fact it's mine just makes it so, so much more sweeter. Mm -hmm. So much sweeter. So I say, I'll keep, my, I'll keep my book going until we do eventually find a Wales for Ellie. And we might get a, an actor union, but I, a, an actor union. <laughs> a, uh, a Navy flag Centurion error. with a flag error. But uh, hey ho. I'm full. I've won. Victory. <laughs> awesome. Right, this says deoxyribonucleic acid around the outside. It could be a... Uh, Bottom row find. Is it? Oh, oh no, we're bronze. I'm a bronze. Mm. Where, where are we? There we are. Deoxyribonucleic mm. acid. Four, four million. Like that one. This is feel as I'm dead intelligent. Because I can <laughs> say that they're difficult words. <laughs> oh, what else? Charles Dickens. Wales, Wales, Wales. You absolute beauty. Says... There's another. There's another Mark Hawley. Something will turn up. Definitely bottom row, that one. Charlie Boy. Something Charlie Boy is definitely a bottom row. Very, uh, oh. very common. And Rugby World Cup. Says Rugby World Cup. 1999 on it. So that one. It's towards the bottom. No, where's it gone? It's towards the bottom. Oh, there there's another Florence Nightingale. Bronze find. It's amazing yeah, that the, the bronze finds and, and and they are you know they're under five million. The uh, e even the silver finds, so the likes of uh, serving the mariner, so that's uh, Trinity House. Uh, what's a guinea? Golden guinea. That's the 2016 Britannia. The, 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 like the four quid. Right. That, that's all they are. The, the equivalent of fifty pence would be worth a lot more than four pound. I guess they're just not as desirable as uh, 50 p's. There's the abolition of the slave trade. So this will be a bottom row Snap. find. Seven, seven million and odd, this one. So uh, it says... It says, I am not a man. Yeah. Am I not a man and a brother? Brother, yes. So the only anomaly I think I find with this uh, with these bottom row finds is the uh, is the shoulder to shoulder, the army pals. Mm -hmm. We hardly find any of them, even though it's uh, it's got a millage of nine and a half million. Yeah. I don't think they really circulate around here. That's not my theory on, or well, anyone's theory on. Oh, I've got a, uh, got a, oh, I'm going to do an entry on here because we've definitely got some commemoratives. A little bit of a zoom in. Are you doing, do you want to do your, yeah, yeah go on then. there's an active union, we've already had on them. So yeah, the, the theory, the, the theory of things going regionally is, is absolutely, is, is absolutely correct that the coins are issued regionally. Oh, there's a St Paul's, we know that's the magnanimity one. And that's why we don't find many Tron helmets because I think they've all gone down south. So there's the shoulders, send on the shoulders of the giant. So that's um, technology. That one's technology. Right, let's see what this one says. This must be another something will turn up. That's another Charles Dickens. Whoops. There we go. Sneaking with another. Standing on the shoulders. Standing on the shoulders. Right, what's this? Is that Latin? Mm. The, oh no, no, the... Oh, oh my I know what this is. Giddy and what? Oh, oh, I can't believe you're zoomed out. Oh, hang on. Right. Oh, well, this one, this is a nice find as well because this is the authorised version. I think this is going to say. So, this is the uh, the Bible, the King James Bible. But uh, let's zoom out because Lady M has found another Commonwealth Games. Unbelievable. Scotland. Awesome. Wowzers. That's the one we find the most of. And I know it is the. Um, it is the most common of the uh, most common of the just checking these technologies of all the Commonwealth, but still certainly scarce. And again, we're in North East, so I think most of them would have been released into Scotland, so we're not too far away from Scotland, and yeah. that's why we find so many. 
But, uh, yeah. Wow, three, two three. Commonwealth, two one uh, two one hunch and three and rolly overbanks. Three three top draw finds as well, three gold finds yeah. with, with the uh just with... shows people are not really looking and just put them back in the change, doesn't it? There's another active uh, active union. Yeah, well I was talking uh, I have some regular conversations with someone who watches the channel lives over on the Isle of Man mm. and he he comes across the Toshi Cat. Uh, quite a bit because he's, he's just said the people on the Isle of Man don't just realise what kind of you know, the money they can make from uh, what's in their pocket and how desirable they are over on the on the mainland. Yeah. And I guess it's the same with two pound coins, isn't it? People don't they're not desirable. I don't think. Guy Fox. They don't have the I same affinity something. that uh, that fifty p's have with people. Yeah. And I said the fifty p I think goes back to yeah. when it was a ten bob bit. You know, so you've got people, so you so your nana or your granddad or. You know, you might, you might remember them uh, yourself when they first came into circulation. We've got that cat, which has got that affinity. It's a different shape, it's unusual. It's the first one that was that kind of shape. It was designed specifically for decimalization. And I just think it just captures everybody's heart. So yeah, so who, who's really looking for two pound coins other than hardcore coin collectors like us? There's the uh, old man and the animal, or uh, me, and, me and laughter. So if laughter's got a full beard, he's on the left <laughs> and I'm there on the, uh, I'm on the right. So um, this has got something. This will have something like the evolution of, of theory, something like the origin of the species. There we go. <laughs> evolution of theory. I know what I meant. Yeah. I do know what I meant indeed. Theory of evolution. There's another magnanimity. No two pound hunt is complete without a Saint Paul's. Well, that was my last bag. Well, for last bag of the first bag. So let's uh oops, I'm zoomed all the way out. You can't quite see that uh, that whale's there in that uh, in that corner. Do I need to move the mat? Oh I wonder if I moved it accidentally. There we go. Oh no, you can't see the Come on, there we go. Oh no. Everything you can open the Ooh, that's tight. That is tight, but we're in. Anyway, so the halfway the halfway stage. So we're doing, you know, we're okay for bottom row finds and the and third row. One silver find, but three plum, top of the pops. Uh, finds with the uh, with it with it with the gold there and one for one for the book two commonwealths absolutely uh, absolutely phenomenal i think uh i think the i think the thumbnail should we do something different for the thumbnail we'll have it so it, it, you can maybe read the edge let's of course we find imagine we find some more mm -hmm. let's find a full up. set <gasps> dare to dream lady yeah. M. dare to dream so that could maybe be hang on that could maybe be the thumbnail and if we find another one, that'll be there'll be three on top of each other. Smashing. Right, new Matt Luck. New Matt Luck. Should I should I move the plum fine? I, no, I won't. I won't I won't move the plum fine until the end. Oops, wrong way around. <laughs> there we go. Right. So we'll crack on with this one. So we've got some seal bags this time. Surely we won't do as well with this as we did with the other. You never know. Haydock, isn't it? So we found out, found out since Haydock is Liverpool way. So Northerners, rock hard Northerners, we don't need little tear slips. <laughs> we can just get uh, cracked straight into uh, into them. Well, some of us so, can. Some of us can. Oh. This will be a commemorative because we've got two pound written on this side. I'm going to say it's a Charles Dickens, and it is. Got there eventually. There's an after union. Oh, we've got a nice JC coming up, Lady M. After after this. Get rid of them one. So 2016 JC. So this will be a Great Fire of London or a 2016 Britannia. Where, or it could be one of the Shakespeare's. We've got the fifth portrait of the Queen. We've got JC in the bottom corner. Let's have a look. And it's Britannia. Nice. Good. Silver fine, Lady M. Yeah. Good luck pronouncing the outside of the Britannia. It's in Latin, isn't it? Through now the arches. Are we having arches? Yes. No? No, I don't think we have. No, we haven't. No. Okay, so the inscription is so many irons in the fire. So it's a bottom row. Yeah. Completes a little mini set, a Isambard Kingdom Brunel mini set. 
So are we going to get the lamps are going out all over Europe and uh, for King and Country to complete the bottom the bottom mm. row? What is the lamps are going out all over Europe? What coins that? Uh, it's not the Trinity Lighthouse, is it? No, that's uh, serving the Mariner. That oh, one. Right. Okay. Not a clue. Lamps going out all over Europe. Some someone's going to be screaming now. Going, yeah. oh, it's the so and so. Yeah, more than likely. Lamps. Abolition slave trade. Do you know, I can't think what that is. I can't at all. It's probably the lamps that throw me off. I'm thinking light, and it'll have nothing to do with light. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to find it to know what it is. Yep. And Charles Dickens. Oh, I know what it is. All right, go on then. Oh, yeah. do I? Enlighten us. Yeah, I do. It's uh, Kitchener. Lord Kitchener. Oh, of course, yeah. There's another Brunel Arches. Uh, Marconi. Oh, you've set me with a bag next to me as well. They put all the all the plastic and in. And you'll throw them on the floor. I and knew I, you would. And I've still thrown them on the floor like I always have done. Uh, the Old habits die hard, Lydia. Yeah. Oh, there, look at that lovely, lovely, shiny Britannia, that. Mm. I wonder if it's a 2015, because the, the 2015 and 16 coins are beginning to come into circulation. I think they've been in uh, hidden in cash centres, so this would be a super duper top row find, because 15's only got 650,000 mintage, and it's a 16. Still nice though, good mm, Nick. Yeah. A silver find, oh, there's a, there's a Marconi. Another abolition of the slave trade. Oh, that's a bit of a grubby one, considering. Oh, yeah. Shakespeare's I'm going to check the edge inscription just in oh, case I'm they made a mistake to. with the uh, the hollow crown as well. Yeah, no, so it definitely says the hollow crown on that one. So the first one of the mm. of the Shakespeare's. So hopefully we'll get a yeah. Shakespeare triple. There's another magnanimity. This will this will be a commemorative as well with a two pound written at the bottom there. Probably another Dickens. And it's not. It's a guinea. Nice. Our first our first guinea. Yeah. Um. What is a guinea? It is a splendid thing. Funny colour that one as well. It is. This is a Guy Fox. And yet he still throws them on the floor, oh, yeah. even though he's recognised he has a bag. I'll try and remember from that one. <laughs> and part of me thinks, well, they're on the floor uh, now, so... Yeah, carry on. Might as well, we'll have to pick them all up. Oh, and another guinea. Oh, it's funny, he's got the same tone in, kind of. You got it? It's a slightly mm. different place, but... Yeah. Some of the colours. Mm. I don't know why, the bag's to my left-hand side and I'm right-handed. So it's easy for me just to put them down to the right hand side than it is to go across camera to put them in that bag. Excuse me. Another Robbie Burns. There's a Brunel Arches, Panic the Station. And another abolition of the slave trade. We find so many of them. We really do. It's disproportionate how many of them we find. I say, especially compared to Tron helmets. It's got a higher mintage and not being around as long. Unless, of course, they're still stuck in the cash centres, the, yeah. the Tron helmets. They haven't really come out yet. Yeah, Bit of last bag luck, maybe. You never know. Not for me, it's a bust. It's a bust, it's a bust. Yeah, it's a bust. Right, so let's review what we've got. I think we'll just straight away we'll get this Wales into it into plum find, you know, it's plum find spot. Just absolutely confirm that the writing is upside down. Yep, spirit of Manchester. <laughs> Imagine I got that wrong. That's how we do it. We do the Queen side, and if you can read it, it's in Ellie's book. Upside down, it's fine. Yes, beautiful. First one I've ever found. So that is going in the plum find section. No two ways about it. So in review, we've got three of the of the golds. 
So we've got the uh, King James Bible, we don't find many of, just under a million mintage. Scotland, we certainly found lo quite a few of Scotland. I think I bet we found more Scotland Commonwealths than we have King James Bible. Yep. Um, yeah, absolutely. So we've got a few silver finds, three silver finds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the bronze. Uh, two that we haven't got on the bottom on the bottom row, surprisingly. But yeah, pretty good. So let us know what you think of this hunt. Don't forget to subscribe as well while I, while I think on. So new mat, new look, something for the book. You're going to see it in the book any second now, but please don't forget to subscribe. Watch some of our other videos. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Get in. Yes. <laughs>